Beyond the history, my wife and I have had a long journey the past year. We have been together for eight years, married three years, and are 28 and 27. We have been having issues for a little over a year and things just now exploded in the past six months. I got caught back in September texting online with people and it devastated my wife. Before, that we had no issues but we were growing distant from one another. We tried to fix our marriage after September and we were up and down every other month. Finally, in January my wife asked for space and wanted me to move out to my parents. I work from home so I was allowed in our house to work however, that was it. I did not listen to her as much as I was in desperation mode of trying to save our marriage and often hung around the house waiting for her to get home, which was wrong of me. Eventually I was able to come home after my grandfather passed away and was sleeping in the guest room since February. We tried to work on our marriage and I honestly tried so hard to change for the better, working on the things she requested. Then a few months ago I noticed my wife has stopped trying as hard, started to become distant. One night she was passed out drunk and I saw on her phone she was texting another man. I was heartbroken, probably how she felt about me. The feeling was terrible. We talked about it the next day and she explained to me he was an old friend and it was nothing serious. The texts were serious, however, I wanted to forgive her and she agreed she would stop talking to him. Last week I noticed there were growing activity on social media. My wife added him on all social media, even went in and liked all his old photos dating back to 2020, something she did to me when we started dating. She was still wearing her ring with me however, she would take her ring off when she went out without me, red flags. I asked her to tell me about this man this week and she told me again he's just a friend and she doesn't talk to him like that and hasn't texted him since I asked. I did not believe her, I checked the phone bill and saw she lied to my face and has been communicating with him almost every day all the time. I approached her on this and she flipped on me for checking the phone records. Now my wife is moving back in with her parents because she wants space again. We talked and she said she doesn't love me and doesn't know if she ever will love me the same way she once did. I am thinking it is because of this guy and that she caught feelings for him. I want to save my marriage, I love my wife with all my heart, and I am in so much pain knowing she is falling for someone else. She claims this space is for us to help find ourselves and will be good with us, I believe she does still love me and wants this to work. The past week after we talked and she decided to move out, tomorrow she moves out. She constantly is texting me asking where I am and what I am doing. For example I just needed to clear my head and go out, so I left the house one night without saying anything. She started texting me and calling me a ton asking where I went and would not leave me alone. Then again yesterday, I had softball and was reading her texts but not responding. She sent me a total of 5 texts, asking if I was ignoring her, and then called me asking where I was. Why would she do that if she's moving out? Additionally, the other day she asked me if I hated her, which I explained that I don't but I'm just so upset about this other guy. I am scared to lose my wife, she is truly the love of my wife and I know I made mistakes but I don't want this to end this way. I don't know what to do. Should I give her the space and just lay low until she reaches out to me? I wanted to ask her before she moves out if we are going to remain faithful during this separation. Is that fair of me to ask? Update, just to give more details for everyone, last night was the night before she was moving out. I wanted to set expectations for our separation. My first one was about dating. She refused to say she wouldn't date but kept saying she doesn't want to date anyone right now and is trying to find herself. This one hurt. I told her I'm not dating anyone, but I really want to press her that if she has C with anyone else it's over, for good. I also asked her what the end goal of this separation was, are we trying to get back together? Her response was I don't know if I want to be married anymore, that's what I need to see. Additionally, she told me she plans to come home all the time to see our cats. I feel like this one is where I hold leverage. I want to show her I'm moving on and I feel as though if I push back on her when she tries to come, it will frustrate her. I have spoken to everyone in her family. I have always had a very close relationship with all her sisters and parents. I informed her mother of this new guy and the possibility of an affair. She was concerned and told me that she will talk with my wife when things settle down about the long-term effects this would have. Additionally, both of her sisters are on our sideline. Her one sister told me that my wife really wants to make it work and wants this space for us and that this is the best thing for us. They wouldn't lie to me, they would be honest especially about an affair. I alerted her other sister of the affair and she told me that my wife said something about this guy to her and that it was just a friend and I was getting all worked up. It's not just a friend. Additionally, I have spoken to one of our couple's friend's girlfriends who has a very close relationship with my wife. She said that she has not heard anything about this man either but she would continue to look into it with her. She's not happy how my wife is handling this. Today I am moving her into her parents, it's going to be hard but it's for the best. I am thinking I will go ghost on her and not respond to any texts or calls for the weekend. I will stay off of social media and just relax and really soak in what is happening. I do want this to work out, I love my wife with all my heart but I am not going to be her puppy dog while she has a physical affair with someone else. I reached out to a few divorce lawyers this morning, I am just preparing myself for if she has an affair.
The final update post moves out. I helped my wife move into her parents' house. We shared good cries when moving her things. I could tell this was hurting her just as much as it was hurting me. I was not expecting her mother to be there. I broke down in tears when she was talking to me. She gave me a massive hug and said that this is for the best and we need space to heal ourselves from the past. My wife came back home to get the last of her clothes she was taking. She did not take everything, and we had our first real conversation in months. She told me she would not be having any physical relationship or dating for a very long time, ever, and I made a joke except for me and she smiled at me. We hugged it out and both agreed this was for the best, that we needed space. She wants me to take care of myself and find true happiness and that she was only moving right down the street, 10 minutes away. I told her the same and that we both needed since we were fighting nonstop. My wife has been through a lot in her life. I truly believe her when she said the above things, as I could hear the pain in her voice. Her friend actually texted me and told me that my wife is hurting with me, and she didn't want to do this but had no other options unless divorce. I believe we may still have a chance in this but I need to heal myself and become the person I once was and fix my issues. I think being alone will allow me to just focus on the things I need to get organized in my life, and this will be good for us. She confirmed she will be coming here to see the cats and to escape the insanity of her parents' home every once in a while. For now, I deleted all social media apps and I intend to law low, not text, call her unless she reaches out to me and truly give her the space she needs. In doing so, I hope it pulls us back together however, if it doesn't, I will have found self-happiness, I hope. A few days post move out, I feel like a weight was lifted off of me, but I do miss my wife so much, we have been in contact since she has moved out. I unplugged our video doorbell, and she started questioning why I did so and wanted me to fix it. I ignored it. Yesterday, I went to the beach and she was texting my phone non-stop saying she hopes I have fun, wanting to know if I need her to feed our cats. She got mad when I told her I already booked someone to do so. Additionally, she left some things she needed. She didn't take everything she owns, just clothes and shoes, like her robes and had a package delivered. I dropped it at her parents before going to the beach and she questioned why I didn't want her coming to the house. Additionally, today, I fixed the doorbell and caught her trying to see what I am up to three times already but have not talked to her since yesterday afternoon where she was really short with me towards the end of the day. This entire separation was her idea, and I just don't know what the hell she is doing. If she is done and moving on why is she stalking me through the camera, texting me all and wanting me to still go to a concert with her this week? Also, I asked her dad to get a beer with me to talk about everything, so I am meeting him this week as well. I talked to her sisters, and they are confused about everything as well. We have now reached the stage where I think I am done, I have thought about the past few months and have seen how horrible she has treated me and how uninterested in the marriage she is. I have caught her since moving out, looking at our doorbell camera, and asking why it's off when I unplug it, trying to log into my bank account, she wanted to use her own going forward, and reaching out to me every day saying I hope you have a great day I know this is her way or trying to keep me close in case things done work out with this other person. I think letting her go is my best bet at this point. We do have a concert tonight so I am curious how that goes, I am going to treat her like a normal friend at it. I have been back and forth but it's because she was truly the love of my life. I have become disgusted with her over the past few days and become more and more angry with her every day. This is the entire life I built only to be torn down. When I have a beer with her dad tomorrow, I will be curious if they have talked to her. She is a big family person and tells her mother and father everything. My thoughts will truly be completed after I meet with him. He has so much respect for me he will be honest with me as I will be honest with him about the online crap I did. I have reached out to a divorce lawyer but I cannot file for divorce until we are officially separated for six months legally in my state. This puts me to December. That said, now one week post move, my wife asked to come over and see our cats and hang out with them. It was awkward at first as we small talked. Then she said about the mother thing again and that she wanted to move on with her life and was looking at apartments and wanted a divorce. She wanted me to buy her out of the home and that we didn't need lawyers involved because we don't want to actually hurt each other. It was hard, we talked for like two hours about stuff after that and we ended on a very high note, away from divorce, telling me to prove change. We went to lunch, came back and watched a movie until she left again. The next day, we did not talk at all, she went to a big family party for my godson, and I did not attend, was not asked to go. That Monday, she asked me if she could come over and hang out with me and the cats again and do some gardening. She doesn't even live her I don't know why she cares anymore, I said that was fine. I was very short with her most of the time, hoping she would leave. Eventually she asked if I wanted to get dinner, which I already had steaks ready, so I told her we can just cook dinner and hang out. We did and had a great time, went to get ice cream and then watched a movie. When it was time for her to leave, I went upstairs to see what her reaction would be and make my bed, not for her to sleep over, she followed me up and wanted a hug. I hugged her very tight and she did the same and then made a comment stop making me sad, giving me puppy dog eyes, I'll be back, and then hugged me again and asked for a kiss, what? 
Fast forward to yesterday, she randomly shows up at the house to get a package that was delivered, vitamins or something like that. She was forcing conversations with me and at the end before she left, came up to give me a hug. I didn't want to do it, trying to hold my ground, but gave her one. She asked to borrow my truck today, so I told her she could and this morning she came over. I put the keys by the door and went to the basement to do laundry. She walked all over the house looking for me to just small tell me. She also made a weird comment about me liking a girl's photos on social media. There being half-eaten salsa eye on the fridge, who you are eating salsa with, who you are having over? That was from a girl's night she did before moving out. Also, she has made comments about how I turned our cameras off, didn't want her watching me which she was, and that I took down some photos of us in the house after she asked for a divorce because I didn't want to stare at them, claiming I am erasing her from the house like she isn't here anymore, which she isn't. What is going on? I truly love my wife more than anything and want to fix our marriage, but she is like all over the place. My concern is that she just misses the home, the benefits of being married to me financially. I made her start paying her bills, car, phone and she is broke, but wants to court with other men and pretend she's single. Or is this all just a ploy to show me she can get another man and make me try harder? I am meeting with her dad on Monday to have a beer and talk so maybe I will try to figure something out. What are your thoughts? Does she want to make it work or not? Two weeks since my last post, my wife and I have tried to work things out and this past week has been more progress. The divorce papers I believe changed everything as it made her realize I will also do what I need to do to protect myself. This past week we spent the most time together and had actual conversations that were meaningful. This may be a lot but I will try to summarize this. Last Sunday she went to the beach with her family and she kept making comments that she wishes I came down with her. Monday, I decided to pull away from her slightly and did not respond much to her. Apparently, she went and bought very nice steaks for us but said since I was being distant, she ate them with her father instead. We also went out the night before to a festive and had a bunch of fun. The reason I was pulling away was the man who I mentioned throughout as friends with my neighbor. They went to the beach together and he was parked out front of my house. My wife was supposed to come for dinner. I had softball at 7 p.m. so it would have been tight. Backed out and I thought it was related to this man being over my neighbor's house. I still think it was but see Tuesday. She wanted to have dinner the next day instead. Tuesday, I continue to be super distant with her, I don't reach out at all, she doesn't reach out to me either. She then shows up to the house around 6 p.m., I am super short with her and she can tell I want nothing to do with her. She starts to make comments at me, I go downstairs to watch TV I walk up and she is ordering food while sitting on the couch crying. We ended up talking and decided to go to dinner, she was upset I was pulling away and didn't seem like I wanted to be with her. Dinner, we ended up having very good conversations and I told her my issues are her talking to other guys. She continues to explain she isn't talking to this guy but they do text and social media still because they are friends. I tell her I'm uncomfortable with it and it kind of ends there. Tuesday side note, this is the big change. I have a drive on beach tag for our local beaches here. On Monday she asked if I wanted to do that with our couple friends and her. I told her that works for me. Mentions that we leave early to drive to the beach and she would like to sleep over. Wednesday, she invites me to her parents' house to have dinner with her. Her dad went to the beach so she asked if I wanted to grill with her. I did and we had a great night and watched a movie to end it before I went back home. Thursday, she asked me to go to the gym with her. Never does and I was excited. I went to the gym with her and then she asked if she could come back to our house for dinner since I was making tacos anyway. We stopped at the grocery store and get more taco supplies and cook a great dinner. Friday, she comes over to sleep over, we get dinner and watch a movie, we then go up to bed and sleep in the same bed for the first time since April. We lightly talked while lying in bed, and she told me she loves me or she would have moved on by this point. We have a slight kiss session but go no further physically. Saturday, we do the drive on beach with friends and have a great time. Only minor setback was there was a video of all of us and I mentioned she wouldn't post it on social media because I was in it. She did not like that comment, even though it was true, and proceeded to post the video on all social media this shocked me and made me happy. Additionally, I asked her if she is sleeping over again that night and she got very upset saying she already said she isn't. She then mentions to me on the way home how she hates my comments and I agree with her that I shouldn't make them and it won't happen again. Additionally, we talk and she mentions, she is just trying to figure out if she still wants this and sometimes. I push too hard. I tell her I just want her to come home and that I want to bring back our physical life. Her response was that she wants to but she is just not there yet. I agree to not push her. We then go get ice cream and have a great close to our day. Today, ghosts me have barely heard from her at all. I don't get this part. Like maybe four to five texts and that is it. I am not reaching out if she doesn't. I know she has snapped that guy a lot but I am starting to think he is my backup plan for if things don't work out with her and I he is plan B I am plan A. I want to feel out what anyone else thinks, is she just stringing me along or is she just that messed up in the head? I think personally she needs therapy. Her friends have spoken to me and all agree things are strange. There's no reconciliation occurring for the relationship, I have started to move on. I no longer want to be married to her. 
We have hired a mediator to help us finalize everything. I went to a baseball game last week, while there she raided the house of things, and took the cats without telling me. I came home to all the shelves being empty, she also stole the battery to my doorbell camera so I couldn't see what she was taking. I am so mad about it. I also started talking to someone else, who I rekindled with over drink and we are connecting now. At this point, I just have to pay her out on her share of the house and get out of this. I believe she went on a date last weekend as well. We both talked Friday and agreed not to fight with each out. We want to still maintain a relationship with one another post-divorce as we both do love and care about each other. It's the weird stuff she does, like we went to the store the other day, and she started looking at outdoor furniture for our house saying she wants a couch for outback and benches for our fire pit but she doesn't even live her. She said she wants a privacy fence in our backyard, in the fall that she wants to start looking into it so we can use our backyard and not see the neighbors. On Friday she also got mad that I rearranged some of the things in the house to how I wanted it, versus how it was, and she made a comment that just because she isn't here right now, doesn't mean I should just erase her from the house and rearrange everything. She kept bringing up that I took all the photos down a few weeks ago, which I did but I have since put them back up because it actually did hurt her. She also every time gives me looks when I am on my phone asking who I am texting or who is that. She just confuses the crap out of me, why do you want to do things to the house you don't even live in? I have finally grown a backbone, cut all communication ties with her and just want a little more advice. Just to update since my last post a few months ago, my wife and I tried to reconcile and put a little effort in however, it eventually fell off. We have not physically seen each other since pre-July 4th as we have both been back and forth between the beach and vacations. She officially moved back into her parents however, she has lingered around the home, pre-July 4th. Around the end of June, she came over and freaked out that I rearranged things in the house, to my liking, example toaster on the counter and moved a plant off the counter for it. She screamed that she put so much effort into the home decor and I am running it. I told her she doesn't even live here anymore, and her response it doesn't matter until papers are signed it's still her home. A few weeks ago, she stayed her to feed her cats while I was at the beach for a weekend. She went through all of my stuff in my office and sent me photos of things she didn't like, like a pair of underwear I bought a year ago to spice things up that I forgot I even had. Additionally, she sent me a photo of a marriage certificate copy I ordered from the state since ours was never officially stamped. I did this as pre-prep for the possibility of divorce since she still talks to that guy previously. I was pissed she went through all my stuff, including my closets and sent me photos of stuff. After she did this I just told her the truth and really started to pull away as I have no time for this back and forth. The truth is I ordered as pre-prep since we didn't have a stamped one, our original copy was never sealed. Then this week, I went on vacation so she said she wanted to stay to watch the cats again. I just got home today and I noticed she rearranged all the stuff in the house back to her liking, did extensive cleaning, house was clean, and even moved our coffee station. Why? But the one thing I noticed was she took our original marriage certificates, her social security cards and birth certificate out of our safe. This annoyed me as I no longer want her in the house, as I don't know what else she took. Lastly, while I was gone, she had her mom over here for a few hours for breakfast the one day and even let her little sister and her boyfriend hang out here for a few hours when no one was home to see the cats she never told me they were coming and all of my stuff is in this house. I have not talked to anyone in her family for like over a month, so this came across as odd to me. Has anyone been in this situation before? Every time I tell her about something with the house, she throws it as her house to, so when I tell her I no longer want her here even when I am away, she is going to start a war about it being her house to. She chose to move back to her parents' house and leave the house. I don't want to change the locks, but how do I tell her she can't come here anymore? Am I even allowed to do that? I set a camera up in my office and she unplugged it when she started staying here. She actually came to visit a month ago or so and screamed at me for having an indoor camera saying she said no indoor cameras in our house because people hack them. I said I don't care I'm the one living here and she unplugged it when I went to the gym and put it in the closet. I just decided to move it to my office instead, where she still unplugged it instead of just shutting my office door. She came over last night for dinner and she requested a divorce. I agreed however, she wants to get a mediator instead of lawyers, because she is broke and does not want anything that isn't fair. She does not want alimony, health care, or anything except a house buyout. Her car changed to her name and a split of everything in the home. Divorce has been filed, I found out while I was away on vacation. She had an appraiser in the home without telling me and got the entire house appraised. The house was appraised 100000 over what we purchased it for in 2020. Now I am in a situation of trying to figure out how to buy her out of the home as she wants 50. The issue is my father who is a contractor did a complete remodel of our kitchen last August for free. That added about 60000 to the home which screwed me. Update. Last time I checked in my wife moved out of our home and into her parents' home as we began our separation. This is going to be all over the place as I am trying to summarize activity quickly. 
During my separation, communication was all over the place as my wife originally moved out in need of space, I was convinced there was someone else. So after a few months of trying to figure out what we wanted, she finally officially asked me for the divorce. I went on a vacation and my wife snuck in an appraiser that a lawyer recommended her and got the house appraised behind my back, then presented the appraisal value and said either pay me half or we're selling home. I accepted that fate and when she told me there was no saving our marriage, I began to rebuild my life and line up my chips. I ended up meeting someone through mutual friends and we began to spark up a relationship. This is where things went totally crazy. My wife began to come to the home and take things that she wanted for her new life without telling me, took the cats and a bunch of stuff, so I began to disarm the touchpad door lock so I would know when she was going to be there, use a key, while one day she went and couldn't get into the home and accused me of locking her out and kicked in the front door, and took everything she wanted from the home, TV, mirrors, her reason. I locked her out, she has a key, her friends and mother helped her do it and it was totally insane. I came home to just stuff gone and my front door off the hinges. About a week later, the new girl I met and I went on a date. After the date we came back to the home to watch a movie, around midnight. She was getting ready to leave when I saw my three missed calls from my wife and she was calling me a fourth time, she was out front. She was driving past the home and decided to stop and see whose car it was, she knew, and then started trying to kick the door and again, I was standing on the inside screaming for her to stop as I held the door up. I eventually called the police. In the time it took them to get there, she ripped down all my camera and threw them in the streets. I went and got a lawyer the next day and decided I was no longer buying her out on the home but instead going to sell it and split the profits. The lawyer recommended I file a PFA against her since she was harassing me, the new girl and my family by sending awful nasty text messages about me. I filed the PFA but eventually dropped it as we both came to agreements to work with a mediator to save money on the divorce since we both wanted it. Around October, my wife started going crazy to save our marriage as she saw me happy with the new person I have met, began to stalk my life and her life, to see how much we were together and what we were doing. I began to work with my wife on getting the home ready for sale, she came over to help me fix the holes she caused and paint things, however, she started to corner me into rooms asking for me to take her back and would try to kiss me and make up with me, trying to make me sleep with her, I didn't. Eventually she got the hint I don't want to do that and I kept telling her I just need space to figure out what I want to do with my life. I really don't know what I want to do at this point, my head is everywhere. My wife moved into apartment in mid-October, I helped her move the remaining things, bigger items, that were still her to her new apartment. She convinced me to sleep with her. One more time, I felt deep down this was a setup, I really didn't want to do it but I did. This was a disaster, I eventually had to tell her I wanted to proceed with the divorce and not salvage our marriage, where she started harassing the new person I was talking to, dating. She went crazy, this was two weeks ago, and begged for me back. Fast forward to now my wife is saying that she has met someone new and how amazing that he treats her so well and she is so happy and her new man is everything I wasn't. I was actually happy for her at first, but then I noticed she is making videos about me online, saying how awful I was and the things I did, in the past post, to the world. She won't leave my name out of her mouth and keeps trashing me to everyone. Today was the final straw for me, I flipped on her, of which she finally apologized for blasting me on social media to everyone, and texting my family, etc. She wants to move forward with the divorce and just be with her new man. That hurt me a little as I became kind of jealous, not of him but if I was making the right decision in my life, like am I closing the chapter with the person I sent 10 years with, and just throwing it away. My entire family and friends all hate her guts, there's no recovering from that. But am I doing the right thing? The new girl I have been with is amazing and I really am in love with her. But something still sits in me for my wife, soon to be ex, am I doing the right thing? Personally, I think her new man is a last ditch effort to try to get me back but I have no idea. Half a year later, life has been great to me, until now. Today I reached out to my ex-wife, who I am still going through a divorce with, we're waiting on the courts to finalize everything, to see if she has heard anything from the courts. I noticed my messages weren't delivering. She blocked my phone number. I went straight to social media and realized she blocked me on everything with social media as well. I felt hurt about this but I kind of understand why she may have done it. She is dating a new guy who she met back in December. They have been officially dating since January and I have been dating my girlfriend since November. Who I love and she is amazing and we have so much fun together. We have chatted multiple times since then just about everything and we both have said we're sorry over and over again for how things ended. Just last month she was telling me how some days are harder than others and that she is still upset about everything and started getting into the details of the past and I just ignored it. We even went and had a drink after we filed for divorce back in March and had nice conversations and laughed and smiled and it felt great to be able to have a friendship. But today, all of that changed for me, when I realized she blocked me on everything I became almost sad and haven't stopped thinking about it all day. I think I'm sadder of the face that it's officially over now. 
I have been thinking about what caused this blocking and I can't pinpoint expect for maybe that her cousin, who dates my best friend, went to dinner with my new girlfriend and I and we all had fun, I'm thinking she found out maybe and that's why she is mad at me but I can't confirm. Two months ago, she was so nice to me and we chatted about the pat and now I'm blocked on literally everything. I made a fake Facebook and noticed that she's been posting a lot of her and her new boyfriend. She never posted like this for the eight years that we were together, so I am thinking it's a front. Did she block me so she can officially move on? I had to email her to see if she heard anything and she sent me a very generic response so I asked why she blocked me and she never answered. I'm kind of sad, will this sadness go away? I don't regret walking away but I do miss the good times we had. My comment, I'd take a huge breath of relief because your abusive crazy ex-wife has cut all contact. The less contact the better. You are probably suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. Are you still going to therapy? If not, I would find a good therapist to help you with these feelings in a healthy way.